Alright. I'm gonna put on some um, Mike Frazier footage because we got a box from Powell. There's Mike Frazier boards in here, I hope. So we're gonna play Powell 8. Alright, these boxes we got. Um, they just, they, they always wanna keep everybody out, so they put these giant packing strips on. I'm not trying to sound ungrateful. I'm just trying to let you know these are. I already kind of pre cut it, so I look really strong doing this. Came off pretty quick. Um, make sure when you're cutting, it's always. Um, my mom told me it's it's down the street for results and across the street for attention. Um, same goes for opening boxes, so we'll do that right now. Find your seam and go across the street for attention. Down the street for results. And there's your result right there. How about that? Dude, I got so much shit in this box. Oh, yeah, I got these mics uh, side note because I'm very extra. I'm like, let's do an unboxing video and, and show everybody all my stuff I got for free because that's not pretentious. Just kidding. Um, um, I got stickers. I love stickers. This looks... I'm going to put this down. This one thing... Uh, all the Powell guys do that we kind of do as a group. We like to put the big giant ripper heads on our boards, like in a different place. Should be like, hey, that guy's on the team, you know, he's he's a real cool guy. He's, he's got the big stickers, you know. Yeah. So we're real cool. Um, do I have it over here actually? No. I don't even have a board to show you because I'm not even on the team. I'm not even cool. Um, they actually don't even know I um, I ride. I just steal these boxes. I intercept them in transit. It was probably going to go to some kid in Japan. And I stole it before they got out. So yeah, t-shirts. Um, got the um, animal chin shirt. Uh, bone shirt. Another shirt. Another shirt. Another shirt. Another shirt. Some more shirts. Some more shirts. I'm glad this kid was a medium because I would have been pretty bummed. I don't know what this is. Oh, shit. Got a fat stack of Swiss super big ball Johnnies. I don't even think they're big balls. Just the six balls because it's always better to have more than two balls. Okay. I uh, got some Powell towels. Um, pretty hyped on that. There's another Powell towel. It's Supreme because I'm real into streetwear and shit like that. Um, got a Bucky, a green Bucky, the Christmas Bucky is what I want to call it, and uh, it's pretty, pretty neat, pretty, pretty dandy looking. I got one on the wall that shows right. How do they do that? That one right there. Yeah, the old Charles in charge. He's gluten free. Bet you didn't know that. Some more packing paper because trees are stupid. Oh yeah, I got a nine. I'm gonna call this the. I don't even know what they call this one. It's like the nine inch wide, like Powell Peralta Turbo Thunder dinosaur print. It just looks like tigers or dinosaurs or something. It's nine. It's a flight deck. Apparently, this is the new concave. I could be completely wrong. But yeah, I ride a nine inch wide deck back on the popsicle game because I got real tired of not being able to use a nose because uh, I do so many nose tricks. Anyway, do that there. Packaging paper. Oh, another one of those because I'm I'm stingy and one's not enough. All right, I just got harder than Portland cement. Here's a Mike Frazier board, and if you don't know who Mike Frazier is, then you've been living under a goddamn rock your whole life. Um, they even wrapped this one up in an extra condom just for double the protection. I think at some point in this video, I'm just going to play like Mike Frazier footage from Powell 8. I watch that video probably once, three, four times a month just to remind myself that I'll never be that good at skateboarding, nor ever will be because uh, Mike Frazier's God and leader of all men. We got this graphic here. Um, fucking arms up. 
ready for battle. I don't know what's going on. Dude's got a great six pack. I don't know if that's Mike himself, but looks great. The board's massive. I gotta hold this mic. Um, board's massive. I think it's like a 9.4. My friend Todd was telling me. It's a big boy. Maybe it'll teach me to go fakey, but doubtful because I'm a coward. Another Frazier. More packaging paper. And uh, a Bucky Classic. Because uh, I want one for the wall. I actually got to put this one in. Another board condom for it. Oh, hold on. It's for the ASMR people. Yeah, this is the stadium deck. All of uh, Bucky's friends, pals, and people in his life. Um, I'm not in there because I'm none of those things. I never made the cut. And he was born in like 1947, so I wasn't really there for a lot of his life. But uh, he's still really nice to me. He's still gluten free. Fuck yeah. The box is empty. You could probably fit like two dead dogs and a whole child in there, a dead child in that box. Mm. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you a story about Mike Frazier real quick. I'm going to hold the board so it's not so weird. Where did it go? Um, I met Mike Frazier in 2018. It was at this vert ramp contest in Hollapaw, Florida, at Rodney Mead's Vert Jam at Mountain Dew Manor. And it was probably one of my first vert contests. And um, went down there with some friends, and uh, I heard about Mike Frazier. My, my friends told me about him. Like, hey, you should watch his videos. You know, you'd probably take a lot from it um i did but i could never do anything like it but still a fan total fanboy um and i remember we were warming up and i dropped in and this is back when i didn't have tattoos because i wasn't as you know cool and punk rock as i am today because i had my music shirt on and uh it just shows i like music and i'm really punk rock and hardcore and scary because tattoos are scary but um yeah, I dropped down on this ramp. It was like a warm-up session, like in the afternoon. And uh, on the opposite corner of the vert ramp, I'm like, I'm here, and the mic's over here, straight gauntlet style. I drop in, and I find myself doing a 50-50, and I'm like, why am I still on the ramp? And Mike Frazier dropped in at the same time. I dropped in on Mike Frazier. That's probably what happened. I remember coming back out of the 50-50, and ahead of steam, I look up as I'm coming down the wall and pumping, and it's Mike Frazier right there. I'm like, oh shit, I'm about to meet the angel of death. I see Mike slide underneath, toboggan style, goes down the ramp, because he sees, oh, I'm about to kill this kid from Indiana. I jump over him, and I'm like, holy fuck, he's gonna be pissed. I get up, I grab his board, and as I'm doing that, I see him grab my board. Uh, he walks over, he's like, hey, uh, you're AJ, right? I'm like, yeah, I shook his hand. And uh, that's how I lost my hair. Uh, Mike Frazier scared the hair out of the follicles of my head. But uh, Mike's really nice. Stoked to uh, have gotten to meet him that way. That was really cool. And um, yeah, he's one of my favorite skateboarders. And that's all I can say, all jokes aside. He's one of the best, one of my favorites. And it's so sick that he's still riding. And I'm pretty fucking hyped that Powell went ahead and did the right thing and made the best reissue ever possible. And of the top graphic at the uh, state of Florida on there. That's great. I can't wait to ride it. Um, really excited. I bought extra wide grip tape just for it. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's short, sweet. If you gave a shit, cool. If you didn't, then even better. I'm just glad you watched it. Um, go buy a mic board. If not, go watch Mike Frazier's Powell 8. It's one of the best videos ever. I think it was filmed in a day. Have a great afternoon, and happy whatever day it is. And, uh, go skateboarding.